Located in the Harlem section of New York City, the Polo Grounds opened its gates for baseball in 1911. Many fans know the Giants played at the Polo Grounds, but the Yankees played here for nine years before Yankee Stadium was built, and the Mets played here during their first two seasons in the league. The Polo Grounds certainly had some unique features. The playing field was almost oval-shaped, and the dimensions featured two extremes, power alleys that are over 440 feet and the foul poles that are less than 280 feet away from home plate. Although the right field line was much closer to home, the second deck overhang made it easier for hitters to swat home runs to left field. The wall on left was only 279 feet from home, but the second deck hung 21 feet over the field, which effectively shortened the distance required for a pop fly to land in the seats. Many outfielders have watched helplessly as a ball that they thought they could catch dropped into the second deck. The outfield slopes eight feet below the infield, meaning that a person standing in a dugout can only see the top half of an outfielder. The bullpens in left center and right center are in fair territory, which can cause chaos with balls hitting the gap. The ball rolls well in the power alleys due to the slope, and the enormous center field area leads to many triples and inside the park home runs. In terms of power, this field favors pull hitters from either side of the plate. The Polo Grounds hosted 13 World Series and two All-Star Games. This park has captured many of baseball's most memorable moments, such as the catch by Mays, Thompson's shot heard around the world, and Mel Ott's 500th home run. The last game played at the Polo Grounds was on September 18, 1963, and the park was demolished in 1964.